I can't even move. Oh my god. Adam, I got a huge one. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Today, we're gonna be fishing with big swim baits for some big pond bass. You guys have been asking for this video for a while. We filmed a lot of swim bait videos in the past, but it's been well over a year. And today, we're gonna be fishing with some giant swim baits. Got my boy A-Dub behind the camera. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, share this video with a friend. It helps out more than you guys know. And hit the like button. Thank you guys so much. We're gonna go ahead and hop right into this. And I think we're gonna hook some really big bass today. Not only do we have big swim baits to catch big bass, we got a scale with us today as well. So we're gonna be flopping them on that. But we're gonna go ahead and hop into this one. If you wanna check out Adub's channel, I'll put it in the description box down below. But let's go ahead and show you guys what swim baits we got with us today. Rig them up on our rods and go hook a double digit. I think it's gonna happen. Let's get it. So we got a few different swim baits laid out on the bed of my truck right here. Adub actually brought all of these. Um, I don't have a ton of swim baits. I got some like S waivers, maybe a few gantra rails. Had a bunch of mag drafts in the past, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of the swim baits that we got laid out right here, the options that we have. We have a lot of glide baits, and then we have one big mega swim bait that is actually my favorite ever. So let's go ahead and talk about them. This first one right here, we actually got a S waiver. We got a Gantrell. We got a bull shad right here. These three swim baits I don't know too much about. I'll have Adam talk about those. And then my favorite of all time, this is actually the eight inch mag draft. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, I'd say about what, two and a half years ago, Adam, maybe three now. Yep. I caught so many big fish on this bait, massive ones. I was even to the point to where I caught a few back-to-back -back casts and this bait catches the toads. But yeah, this is an eight inch mag draft. As you guys can tell, it's got a big treble on the bottom. And why they call it a mag draft is because it actually has a magnet right here and it just lays the hook right there, good and tight. And uh, yeah, this thing is a big fish slayer. It's a great looking bait as well. And it just catches the freaking tank. So I'm gonna start off with this today. Adam's gonna throw it as well. It is his swim bait and I feel kind of bad, but <laughs> Adam knows I really love mag draft, so he's gonna let me throw it for a little bit. Um, and yeah, we'll move around to some of these glide baits. Try a bunch of different swim baits today. If you guys have any suggestions on swim baits that we should try next or swim baits that you would just recommend, let us know in the comment section down below and also comment on your favorite swim bait ever. And I really wanna film a swim bait series. So that would help out a lot because if you guys wanna see that, give this video to the 5,000 likes and we'll definitely link back up and put together a sweet swim bait series for y'all. Yeah, so I'm gonna flop Adub on the camera. He's gonna talk a little bit about these other ones. Woo, look sexy. Looking, looking good, though. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a man right there. <laughs> You're right about that. That's a man right there. All right, folks, got a couple swim baits. I'm still like really new to the swim bait game. It's like, I'm into it, but I'm not really into it. Like, I don't have any super, super expensive ones, but this is a bluegill swim bait. I believe this is a depths. I know that this one is. This is a little mini one right here, but both of these look really good. I don't know if they'll work good in this pond, but these are definitely meant for ponds because they're bluegill. So we're gonna see if these work pretty good. And then this other one, this is actually a Savage Gear 3D Glide. And this thing is just a normal glide bait, kind of similar to this S Waver. I like the S Waver a little bit better. It has a little bit better action, but this right here is a different color. Got a little bit of chrome to it. And uh, honestly, the way Noah's talking, I think either one's gonna get bit today. We just gotta see what happens. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and hop into this. We're not gonna talk much longer, but I will show you guys the rods that we brought out today. Um, I got a bunch of kicking combos lined up. These are gonna be able to throw a majority of those glide baits. This is a medium heavy, seven foot, but it does have a lot of backbone and we can get away with it. As far as the eight inch mag draft goes, this rod, I'm not gonna put it on this. I just don't think that's the right move here. So Adub did bring out one of his nice little swim bait rods right here, and this is by Luz. Um, custom speed stick on a super duty reel but yeah if you guys want to check out any of the kicking their bass tv combos we have the right hand bait casters left hand bait casters and also spinning combos only on kickingtheirbass.com and if you guys would like to check any of the merch out and support your boy i'd really appreciate it helps me out more than you guys know especially with how much traveling i'm about to be doing this year all the merch sales literally goes to my gas money that's that's how that works but i'm gonna rig up um on one of those kicking combos a glide bait and then on that super duty right there, we're gonna put the old big boy eight inch mag draft. Let's go ahead and hop into this one. It's gonna be a banger. Let's get it, baby.
All right, it's time to get this started. I'm so excited to re-meet with the mag draft. Oh gosh, I love this swim bait. Gotta make sure that this thing's gonna, there we go. Man, I'm excited. I've been wanting to throw one of these for a while. I just had, I never like went online to go order any. And Adam had one and I was like, oh my God, dude. You gotta make sure this drag's set right. All right, we're gonna get started, guys. See how this thing casts? Oh yeah, that's perfect for this rod. I'm gonna have to get down like the retrieval. And if you guys have any tips over the mag draft retrieve or like what's worked for you guys, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm probably gonna go with the slow, steady retrieve. I feel like that's about all you need on a big swim bait like this. Oh my God, it looks so good. I really believe, see, but that's the thing, that hook, man, that hook's not laying perfectly. It's like that magnet. Look at that, it just came off instantly. It's all good. just get slumped like right away i think this is going to be one of those things that we might not have many bites today guys but if we do it's going to be a freaking tank we got to be patient just put our heads down cover a lot of water try to throw this swim bait in the right spot and i i really think we'll have an opportunity to catch a freaking tank today so let's get after it let's see what we can do hopefully hook a double digit I totally forgot what the bite feels like on this. This bait is huge. I want to walk down here on this other side. So I came out here with like a glide bait and I had a freaking six, seven pounder eat it right there. And he, I was fighting him for a second, came off. It was right under that pipe. Just imagine. You hung? Yeah. How far out? You want me to get it? Yeah. I can send it in there. Bit more line yeah, it's deep there. That's your only ass waiver, ain't it? Yeah. Ooh, you got it, didn't you? Yep. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Like you got I don't know what that was. Something could have tapped the tail. That was weird, actually. I don't know. I think it's just right place, right time. I don't know. Maybe our base is too high up in the water column. I don't know. I don't know. I'll let it sink a little bit more. Let's see. Oh, oh my God, dude. First time I let it drop, like hammered me, bro. Oh my goodness, dude. That's that just spooked me, Adam. I'm out of mag draft bite in a minute. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. That was the first time I let it sink. Maybe that's why we're we're too high in the water column, dude. Holy cow! I don't know how deep it is out there. Well, there we go, guys. Uh, we've been fishing for a solid probably 30 minutes and didn't have any bites. And I let this mag draft sink to the bottom way out there. In the first cast, I, I got slapped. It's about right there. I'm going to let it sink. Maybe we'll eat it. It could have been a small one just eating the tail. You don't think? It's like you're dropping a bowling ball on the water. I got to make sure they're buying. <laughs> I don't know. The last few times I've been out here, Adam, it has been tough. I'm not going to lie. But I do think a trap and a spinnerbait would catch them today. The clouds today with that spinner bait, a little bit of wind. Oh, that was awesome. Ah, oh, gosh. He's fighting so hard. I can't tell how big he is. I think he's like two and a half, three. <laughs> well guys I, I tied on the spinner bait i always wanted to see if these fish are going to actually eat something today just so to give us a little confidence that's a oh, high two pounder dude that bite was so cool adam pretty good one. yeah like a two and three quarters right first fish today not on a swim bait but i had to grab something else just to i don't know we we threw the swim baits for a while guys without a bite 
And I was like, you know what? I want to make sure that fish are even going to eat. Because the fishing has been so tough the last few days. And sure enough, he slammed that spinner bait. It took me like probably six casts in the same spot though, which is crazy. Let's see what this fish weighs. I think he's going to be like two, seven. Dang, dude, he is 49 pounds. <laughs> what is wrong with that on scale? Hold on. I said 2.7, he's a 2.68. Dang, that was close. But yeah, two, almost a two and three quarter pounder. There we go, a 2.68. Start the day, not on a swim bait, but hey, we got somewhere, we got the monkey off the back. Thank you, bud. I will say, that was such a cool bite. That was intense, man. I had my adrenaline pumping. y'all we got the mag draft on but i think i'm gonna rig something up on this kicking combo i did just catch that fish on the spinner bait but you know that's not the bait that's not the topic of today's video so we're not gonna do that unless we're just desperate i think i'm gonna tie on this bull shad we get a little bit of wind and this is a bait that i can work a little more aggressive and i think it could trigger a reaction bite with these bass all right let's check our drag it's actually perfect Oh yeah, I could beam this sucker too. So this bull shad, I can kind of burn. And, and what I found out with that spinner bait, that's what I was really trying to figure out when I threw that, was will they, do these fish need something to react to? Do they need something with vibration for them to actually bite today? You know, I believe if I was throwing a worm or a jig, we might not even get a bite. But something with some vibration and something that's moving fast, I think these bass are gonna turn on if it goes past their face and they want it bad enough. There he is. Oh yeah, first swim bait fish. I think it's a tank, guys. Oh my God, I can't move him. Oh gosh. Yo, Adam. Adam. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I have him hooked weird or something. Oh, look at that thing. Oh yeah, it's not a tank, but it's a nice one. Oh yeah, guys. First swim bait fish of the day on the bull shad. Yes, let's go. That's a three pounder. Oh man, not a big one, but that's a freaking good one right there. I bet you he is a 288. We might be a 29. We're gonna go show this thing to eight up. Let's go. We weren't even throwing the bullshit that long. Well, there we go, guys. First swim bait fish of the video. Not a giant, but this is a solid almost three pounder. You wanna take a guess, Adam? Yeah, it's probably like right at three pounds really close i think he's i think he might be like a 290 he's 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 up there if he's not 290 he's probably like 280 he's a little bit fatter he's yeah. really long though it's a really long fish i'm gonna say uh 288 29 288 <laughs> i swear look <laughs> that's the second time 288 <laughs> guessed it right on the money so earlier i said a 27 it was a it was a 268 <laughs> everybody messing with my way skills bro what yeah he knows we know this that's not a bad one though no, he's not a pretty, giant that's but that's cool, though. that's a good fish man and i was only throwing the bull shad for probably 10 minutes guys and we got our first fish so i'm gonna go get a release on her i think we're gonna move to this pond me and adam we're gonna start making a lot of casts i think they're gonna fire up Well guys, first fish on a swim bait today happen to be on the bull shad. I'm gonna throw this around in this pond for a little bit and then we're definitely gonna go back to that mag draft bite. Oh, I got one chasing me. He's tailing behind me. What? That was crazy, guys. I literally saw him waking behind me. Never ate it. It's definitely the grass. Just kidding. <laughs> Could have been. He was tailing up behind that thing. Golly, I can do this, man. Are 
Are you kidding me? I hooked the one rope in the whole lake. You gotta be kidding me. Adam, I got a problem. I got a problem. Bro, I cast it like so slightly too and it just happened to get it. Thank you. You get any bites? No. I was going for that one bite, man. <laughs> oh, man. They should be roaming right now, but I just don't think they are. No. Adam. No, I'm hung up. No. No. I can't get in this water, bro. It's too cold. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do it, dude. Hopefully it don't break. It's a thick line. Well, there goes the big old Megalodon bait, guys. All right, well, we're gonna give it a little break and just, you know, get us on a regular bait and see if we can just catch some fish, guys. It's really tough today. I even think with regular baits, it's gonna be freaking hard on us today. So I'm gonna tie on this two tap by striking. If you guys wanna get a discount, on any of the striking lures i have the link and discount code down below this color right here has some purple and blue on top pretty glossy and then it has like a tan upper body and a white lower body got a little bit of orange on the tip of it but that's a good solid natural color oh my god <laughs> you talk about a dang cast holy cow Oh, shoot. How did I not hook that fish? It's actually crazy. This has been the worst week of fishing I've, I've fished in over a year. And of course, it's the weekend that Adam came into town. But hey, what can we do, man? We can just make the best of it. Put our heads down and grind it out. That's what we've been doing. Guys, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yo, Adam. I got a big one. Yeah, that's a big one, guys. Oh my gosh, this thing. I can't even move. Oh my God. Adam, I got a huge one. Noah's got a big one. He is far away, too. I'm running. I'm running. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's a big, it's a big. There we go, baby. Oh my gosh, the tank. Oh my gosh, dude, how am I supposed to grab him? You got a baby. Oh, dude, that's a tank. Look at the belly oh on him. Oh my gosh, look how fat he is. <laughs> dude, that's like a seven pounder. Dude. He's got to be because he's so fat. He's I don't so know, short. bro. He might be sick. I, I, we'll put him on the scale. We'll put dude. him on the scale. Oh, my look God. how fat he is. It's so hard to judge when they're like that. That's like a meatball. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Wow, on that Strike King trap, bro. Don't want a swim bait video. We had to put the swim bait down. <laughs> Ended up hooking this meatball, bro. That's a freaking nature. He was big, bro. I couldn't even move him at him. That is a tank. That's one of the fattest fish. That's probably the fattest bass I've caught this year. Maybe the biggest one I've caught this year, too. Have I caught any giants this year? I don't think so. I don't know. I think that's the biggest fish I've caught. Freaking tank, zeroed out right there. What do you think, Adam? I he's said six. seven. You think seven? I think he's over six, but I don't think he's all the way at seven. I would say he's not even six, but his belly's so dang fat. When they get fat like that, yeah, it has they to be put six. on a lot of weight. Yeah. All right, that scared me for a second. 6.54. Yep. I knew it was over six. That's a tank, bro. Because they're 6. so 5, fat. 6. There we go, guys. We got our first tank of the day. 6.56, Adam? Yep. Or 5.4? 6.56. Fat belly on that bass. 
yeah, we didn't get him on a swim bait. We had to adjust, but I'm just happy to get this giant, man. I would have rather not thrown that swim bait and, and caught this guy than not throw that thing at all. So that striking trap got it done. We're gonna get this fat girl in the water. That's actually my biggest fish this year in 2022 so far, which is a 6.56. All right. Dude, that is a meatball, brother. It's a big one. There she goes. Yo, that's what it's about, Adam. You gotta love bass fishing, guys. You need to be getting in the outdoors, even in the cold weather. I know a lot of you guys are it's super cold, but man, that was good. That was some good stuff. Now it's your turn, Adam. I want you to get a seven. You gotta break the seven mark. Yep, that's I it. think it's possible. So we're gonna keep on hustling, guys, and I'll see if we can get some more big ones on the bank. Well, y'all, heck yeah, we got some big one. We stayed positive. I think that's so important when fishing. I, I'm sorry guys that it's not on a swim bait. I know that's like not what we were doing today, but then again, I don't think you guys are gonna complain seeing a six and a half, seven pounder be, be caught. So we're gonna keep on fishing. I threw right down this bank parallel. That was actually my first cast down this bank and he hammered it. Let's see if there's another one here. I think they're about to start feeding like crazy. I'm ready to get another big one. <gasps> no, 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 no. Mm. Mm. What the heck? That was a five pounder, bro. I just saw him. You want to fish for like another, what, 45 minutes and just call it? Dude, that was a tank. That was a tank. That was a tank. I didn't hook him. I might be able to catch this fish. Guys, that was a freaking moose. Usually they'll come back and hit it, but it's just so tough right now. Oh, it hurts me. Oh, it's gonna haunt me. I got one. Did you just break me off? Are you serious? I think I just threw my bait off. Is that a nut? That fish just broke me off. Dude. <laughs> what in the freak, bro? Well guys, we had a tough day today, but let me tell you, we both ended up catching a big one. I got that 6.56. Six. Adam also caught a really big fish today. And we just had a good time. I mean, it was fun. It was brutal though. I'm not gonna lie. I was upset about breaking off that mag draft. I really wanted to catch an eight to 10 pounder on it today. And I believe it possibly could have happened, but then again, the conditions were so tough. I mean, we fished out here for a little, I believe a little over six hours today and didn't catch that many fish. I mean, it was a, it was a grind. But this whole week has been a grind. The last couple of days, me and Adam have been out on the water and it's been like this every single day, but we still pull it through and we stay positive and we end up catching some fish. I hope you guys ended up enjoying this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Share this video with a friend, get somebody new into fishing, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.